August wrap up, August wrap up, let's see the books that I've read. <laughs> What's up world my web, it's Jess and this video is about all the books I read in the month of August. I read 17, if I counted correctly, 17 books this month. One was a manga, two were comics, one was a graphic novel and two were like short novellas online. But everything else is a book. Let's get started. The first book I read this month was Tithe, or Teeth. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that one right. Let's go with Tithe by Holly Black. I enjoyed that book. I think I gave it a four out of five in Goodreads. I had a very interesting storyline, and I'm not gonna lie, I can't actually remember much of it. I read it at the start of the month, but I remember enjoying it. The next book I read this month was Matched by Ali Condi, which is the first book of the Matched trilogy, which I also read all of the trilogy this month. But we'll get to that but later. First was Matched. I enjoyed it. I had a bit of some little issues with it. Like the world building was great. The story was, was good. The characters felt a little bit flat to me. I didn't really get why. Like, Cassia was sort of so in love with Kai. I mean, I've read the rest of the trilogy. I'm still not quite 100% sure why into him over Xander. I'm just not sure what they're appealing about Kai other than their, like, love for poetry. It seems to be, like, the only thing. The next book I read was Fangirl by Rainbow Allen. That was wonderful. That was also a four of five, but I think I'm going to upgrade it to a five. I never really written any fanfiction, so I guess I didn't relate. To the, like that level of cap about writing it, but I read a lot, so I guess I had that sort of experience of like the other side of it. It was really interesting to see sort of how Cap sort of grew through the novel, right, but still didn't let go of Simon Snow, which I thought was good because I think people have this thing where it's like you're too old for like these things and you should move on, but no one wants to, and that's not a bad thing. You sh it, you don't have to like. I mean, I still love Harry Potter as much as I did when I was nine, maybe even more. And I'm not going to just let that go because I'm an adult now, you know? So I like that bit and how she still changed a bit, but she still, despite everyone probably sort of thinking that she should, she didn't. So, the next two books I read, which is probably favorite, my favourite books I read this month, Basinda and Scarlet by Mar Marissa Meyer which is the first two books of the Lunar Chronicles. Wow, I really, really enjoyed I gave them a five of five. They were just wonderful. I, such a sh sort of like, first, especially the first one, it's just an interesting idea. I mean, I'm a sucker for like fairy tale retellings. So making it sci-fi and like cyborgs and robots, androids, sorry. And like, I mean, who comes up with that? And, I will admit, I sort of guessed sort of like the main bit about like the truth about seeing that about like half through the book. Like page I think I had in nineteen and I was like, wait, and I was alright. I was like bonus points with Jess, but it was still like an interesting twist. Even though like, I can see it coming. And Scarlet the twist in Scarlet I didn't see it coming. But just overall I really like I think I have a new favourite series, guys. I really think I do. I have Cress on hold library, it's coming, I haven't picked it up yet, but I'm really excited to read it, so I'm really excited to read Fisher series, I don't know where it's going, but wow. The next book I read was Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Volume 6. I read the first five volumes of Sailor Moon last month. I actually can't remember what it was about. From my memory, I think it was the introduction of Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus, and I'm just trying to see, because I never watched like the anime, like the old anime from like the 90s, ever. I mean, I've seen the first one, but so I don't actually really know a lot about where the story is going. I'm guessing that Neptune and Uranus are on this side, but at this point, I don't, I don't know. And I'm sort of hoping to find Servant, Volume Seven, somewhere, so I know because I need to know like, everything. I'm really enjoying Sailor Moon, guys. And this is these are my, this is like the first like manga series I've ever like read. So yeah, I really, I'm really enjoying Sailor Moon, and I've started watching like the new anime. I'm probably gonna go back and eventually watch like, the old anime, but. Sailor Moon is really important in my life right now. The next book I read was Percy Jackson and the Lightning People. I think it's just called Lightning People. I don't know. This is actually isn't the copy I read. I actually borrowed a copy from the library, not knowing I actually owned the copy. But lots of people have told me to read this. But lots of people I mean one from like my two friends. And like the internet. And I never actually read it. And I thought, you know what? I need to read some books. Let's pick up Percy Jackson. So I did. And I actually really enjoyed it. I mean, I'm not surprised 
surprised I never actually picked up for because I've always had an interest in like Greek mythology and like Roman mythology and mythology in general so I don't know why I didn't pick it up but it was really interesting. I was a bit shocked at like the ending because the person who betrayed him wasn't the person I thought was going to betray him. I thought it was someone else and I was like whoa whoa I'm not going to go too spoiler into this one but if you haven't read Percy Jackson yet read it and I need to go find the rest of the series now because we only have the first book. Next book I read was a comic. It was My Little Pony, Friends Forever, number seven, which is Pinkie Pie, who's my favorite character, like ever, and Princess Luna. And the basic plot was that Princess Luna wants to learn how to be funny. She goes with Twilight Sparkle, and Twilight's like, you should probably go to Pinkie because that's put Pinkie every season. Pinkie kind of teaches Luna to be funny. Well, tries to, but I don't want to do too slow, but it was really good. I enjoyed it. It was cute, because it's ponies. So that, that helps. <laughs> and I like the little lesson that both I think Pinkie Pie and Luna sort of got a lesson out of it. She was just Luna. Maybe you got anything out of it. Next book I read was City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Best friend, Sabrina. Hi, I know you're watching this. Like, loves this book or series, so she's sort of been raving on about it, so I thought I'd go, I better read it. And it's really interesting because a lot of people, like, on the internet, sort of saying that they found this book hard to get into. And I know Christina from Polo and Bananas books, because she really, like, loves the Moral Instrument series. She says, you know, you gotta push back this first book, you know, it's hard, but the rest of it gets better. So I was going into this sort of like low expectation and I read it and I did like a five out of five. It was like amazing. And again, I didn't really see, like I knew some things cause like Sabrina spoiled some things for me, but I actually didn't know it was gonna be the book, this book, I thought it was gonna be the next book. But anyway, like even I knew some things that would have made it more shocking if I didn't know it. When I still really enjoyed it and I'm going to continue the series much to the pleasure of Sabrina. So I hope you're happy now, girl. This was the first book I read for the Band of Books readathon, Bad Books 11, which is the first readathon I ever passed piece of it in. So that was the first book I read for that. The next one I read was the graphic novel version of Christie's Great Idea, which is the Babysitter's Club book, the first Babysitter's Club book. And I decided to read it for a refund, so I thought, well, you know, it's a quick read. I can get it done in 15 minutes, which I think I did, maybe a bit longer. And it's still as wonderful as it was the first time I read it, as wonderful as the, the novel version. It's just, it's lovely, it's, it's just a nice, happy sort of story. And, I don't know, it's a Babysitter's Club. I mean, there's not much wrong with the Babysitter's Club. The next book I read was Crossed which is the second book in the Match Trilogy and this was also for the Battle Books Printed Fun. I came into this very, very low expectations because I've heard mixed reviews on it and most of them were negative so it's like, okay, don't know what I'm going to expect from this book. But I actually enjoyed it. I guess I understood why people didn't like it because pretty much like Death and Hallows Part 1 movie, like in that movie how everyone's just like, it's just like them camping for like two hours. It's just pretty much the characters roaming around in like the desert for most of the book. I'm okay with not action-packed books but if you really like action-packed books it's probably not gonna enjoy it but I sort of like that some of this book was in Kai's perspective so it was good for me because again I didn't really get again I didn't really get why Kai and Cassia were like so in love with each other or why Cassia was in love with Kai so I guess it gave me sort of sort of more of Kai so that made me understand a little bit more but not really because I had the same issues as book as I had with like Match where world building was great story was great but like the characters just felt a little bit flat except for Indy I really liked Indy's character <laughs> book I read was Reached, also for bad books. This is obviously the ending of the trilogy. The ending annoyed me because it's very ambiguous and I hate that. I mean how can you end with everyone voting if they wanted to have the society or they wanted the rising or they wanted to go have Anna run the world or whatever and just like not tell us the result. I'm guessing by the way it was sort of written that I think they're gonna have Anna win the vote because Cassie voted for her and Kai voted for her. So I'm guessing that's probably how I was telling this but like I don't know maybe the rising got a little bit. Maybe everyone decided you know what Sunny was okay. I want Sunny back. So that really annoyed me. Again, even though I'm going to read this book, I still don't know why Kester and Kai are like together. I don't get, again, characters just not working for me and it's irritating. But I, overall, I enjoyed the book and the series, but I don't know if I would read them again. The next book I read, which is the last book I read for Bad of Books read one, was Barry Trotter and the Shameless Parody, which is a parody of Harry Potter. That's interesting. I'm going to give it a three. It was really weird. I don't even know how to say that a little twist at the end. I kind of enjoyed like twist at the end. It was, I thought it was pretty funny. I, don't, I really don't know what to say about this book. The next two books I read were you know, little like novellas relating to the Lunar Chronicle series that Rosa Meyer has on her Wattpad page, so go check them out. There's three of them. I remember two of them so far. I'm planning to read the third one soon. That was the, the Little Android, which is known as Lunar Chronicles number 0 0.6. 
which is a retelling of the Blue Mermaid, and I have feels about it. It was sad, but I guess I guess I should expect that because like the original fairy tale is kind of sad. Like I loved it. It was really well written, and I don't think I've ever felt so connected and cared so much about an android before. And then I read Glitches, which is Luna Cromwell's point five, which is more focused on Cinder when she first arrives into like the family after she gets like adopted out. And that was that made me hate stepmother more. Really hate her stepmother. When I read Cinder, I thought maybe it was like a thing where eventually she got like worse as Cinder stayed, like something happened. But she hated Cinder from like the get go. And I don't even know why. The next book I read was a comic book and it was Miss Marvel number seven. Healing Factor Part Two. And you know before if you've seen my review on the Miss Marvel series, the Miss new Miss Marvel series so far, I really, really enjoyed Miss Marvel. I read this month, which has like the best cover ever in look at that. Look at that. It's a selfie of Wolverine. It's what to love. It was enjoyable as Miss Marvel. It always I love like the end when like the end of Captain America and I'm not sure how that character is. Again, I'm not like an expert in the Marvel universe, so if anyone wrote it can tell me who that character other like that girl was. Like she's telling Captain America about like Wolverine and Kamala and he sends a picture and like Wolverine really likes her. Even though he still likes her despite the fact that she told him she writes fan fiction about him and he's okay with that. Yeah, Miss Marvel. Great, go read it. And the last book I read this month is Miss Peregrine's Home Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And this book is just gorgeous. Like look at it, look at it and like inside is is it's just as pretty and stuff. Like you see the photos. There's like photos in the like there are photos. I love how the photos intertwine the story and it makes it, I mean I didn't think, like some people say they wouldn't enjoy it as much about the photos, but I think I would have enjoyed the story without the photos, but it does make it more enjoy, like more interesting. I heard a lot of people talking about it and giving good things about it, but I legit had no idea what the story actually was about. So now I know what it's about and I enjoyed it and I don't want to say too much because I think, I think this book is better if you don't know like anything. You sort of go into it knowing there's pictures and stuff and it's a really interesting story. I had a little twist and turn that I didn't see coming and I'm, I'm glad to say I enjoyed all the books I read this month. So that's my wrap up. Thanks for watching. Bye bye and we'll see you time.